So welcome to today's task. Uh, today what we're going to be doing is we're going to create a database for a mail order company. Now there's a set uh, range of questions here that you should have a look at. Um, and what we're going to do, we're just going to walk through all of them just quickly here and we're going to actually build the database. So the first question it asks about, you know, what is going to be the design criteria for the database and who, who are going to be the end users? Um, and what data will need to be collected here in the database. And so basically we're looking at our design structure. So I've already completed a schema for this database and basically that's going to be our starting point and then we are going to put that into Microsoft Access. Um, <clears throat> the second question asks for, you need to create at least three tables of data, one for customer details, one for stocked items, and one for orders you receive. And you will also need to do a data dictionary and you will need to list down the different data types and validation uh, rules. So if I have a look at my schema, this is all the data that I've collected for my database. Okay, I have my three tables, my customer table, my items table, and I also have my joining table, which is going to be my invoice table. All right, you can see that here, the red keys are listed, the primary keys, as well as these green keys, which are the foreign keys. Now, the foreign keys are just primary keys of the other table. The only other thing that we need to list down here is the relationship types, okay? And the relationship types will basically, basically be like this, all right? Our primary IDs will have um, a relationship type of one to many. So that basically means one item, okay, can be bought by, you know, multiple times, you know, multiple dates of purchase um, from different customers. So to set that up, what I need to do is just, um, just put, all I did is I put an eight and I just uh, twisted it around. Um, but anyways, okay, so now our schema is complete. Okay, so we have our relationship types. Okay, so the one-to-many relationship, we've listed our primary keys and we've also listed our foreign keys. Now we'll, we'll come back to the data dictionary um, in a bit. So I've downloaded my um, data dictionary template and basically all I'm going to do is fill it in in regards to our three different tables. So the first table I'm going to work on is a customer table. Okay, so the first field is going to be uh, customer ID. The field size will say is six. The data type will keep as text. The data format would be, um, we'll have three sets of letters and then three sets of numbers. The description would be unique. Identifier of each customer in this database. And an example would be CUS001. The next one is going to be customer name. Customer name. We can just round off and say, you know, field size of 30. Again, data type will be text, no data format. The description would be customer's name, example, John. Then we have customer's address and customer's phone number. address again we can just make it up an example would be okay and we also have a customer's phone number now the phone number is quite unique because um we, we look at the phone number and really we should start with our example first. So I want the phone number to be, um, you know, 02 in brackets and then I'll have, you know, 9, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so now with this, you're going to have to calculate how many characters exist. Okay, so you're going to have to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13. Okay, you have to include the brackets and also the hash. 
So the field size will be 13, the data type will be text. Now the reason why we have it as text because we are using special characters and dashes and we are also starting with the number zero. If that was a number data type, then we could not start this number with that zero and we couldn't even start it with those brackets. So the data format would be something like this. Number, number, and then number, 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 dash, number, 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 number. Okay, and the description would be, you know, customers, phone, number. Okay, so, so that's the customers table. Okay, now we'll go and we'll work on the items table. Okay, so I'm just going to manage that. Items table. Okay, so we start off with item ID. Now again, our item ID, I want it to follow our our little thing that we have here, so three letters and three numbers. Okay, I'm just gonna copy and paste. So it's a unique identifier of each item in this database. So again, it's letter, 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 number, number, number. Data type would be text and the size would be six. Now, we have uh, item name. Again, we can make it up, sturdy, text, no uh, format, um, item name, maybe projector, okay. Item cost, okay now item cost, when we do our example, maybe we'll say $100, okay. Now you're gonna have to look and see how many characters again you're taking up, so it might be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so maximum items, you know, could be up to 999, which should be enough for us. So we'll say field size is seven. The data type would be currency, and the data format would be something like this, so n, 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 dot, n, n. Okay, and we can say that that's the item's cost. Okay. Item type. Now, item type, you know, maybe we could have a, a set of. Um, now, with the type, what I'm going to do here in our um, database is we, we are going to have like a drop down box. And this is another form of data validation, but basically we are going to only have two options. So it's either going to have to do with, you know, uh, computing or stationary. Um, so there's no data format for that and the description is just the, the type of the item. Okay, so now we move into the last um, table. It's going to call it, it's going to be our invoice table. And the invoice table is, you know, quite unique because it's our joining table. Okay, so our invoice table has a few things in it. It has the invoice ID, the date of purchase. So the first one is going to be invoice ID. And you know what, I'm just gonna copy and paste this because that's it's going to be exactly the same. So instead of CUS, I'm going to say it's uh, invoice INV. So it's going to be the unique identifier of each invoice in this database and everything else seems fine. Okay, next one is going to be the date of purchase. And the date of purchase is going to, firstly, let, let's get the style of date first. So I'm going to say it's 08, 09, 13, which is going to be a short date. So when we go to our data format, we will have um, day, day, slash, month, month, slash, year, year. Okay, and the description for this would be um, date of the items purchase. Um, now the data type would be date and time, okay, and the size would be, um, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, now we move into our foreign keys, okay. So basically they are going to be that whole row, 
Okay, and all I'm going to write here is um, just to mention that it's a foreign key, foreign key of the customer table, and the last one, which is going to be the item ID. So I'm just going to mention that it's a foreign key of the items table. Okay, and so you can use the same examples, but that's basically it. That is your data dictionary done for all of those three tables. Now you need to save your work, and then now we are going to move to the, the actual database.